Welcome back to Walls a Day, where our Walls today is Impossible Mission, a 1984 release running here on the Apple IIe and Virtual 2. From Epics, it's Impossible Mission. This was originally a C64 game and then ported everywhere else from there. Uh, this also got a sequel, which I looked at uh, a few months ago for uh, Walls a Day, but I've never played the first game uh, here. Uh, that's because uh, the, the sequel was ported to the NES, uh, which I played that version back in the day, I never understood it. Uh, but the original game, I don't think I ever got ported to the NES. That's just what you could do back in the 80s. Uh, so there's kind of like two main types of place. We've got the elevator shafts here. And we've got uh, the puzzle rooms. So the premise of the game is that we've been uh, dropped into this uh, evil mastermind's lair and we're trying to infiltrate it. And we have to reconstruct the password to get into his uh, innermost sanctum, I guess. And uh, he's hidden the password pieces as puzzles all around uh, the place. Uh, so to get each character the password, there's nine characters to the password. We have to uh, use four puzzle pieces for each character the password. So we can't really do much with the PDA right now. You can activate the PDA when you're out in the hallways by pressing button two on the joystick. I've got a joystick uh, hooked up. Uh, but we don't have any puzzle pieces yet, so we can't really do much here. We've got this hand cursor. And if you want to get out, you got to hit this off button here. We've got a little mini-map there, you can see. We'll draw in as we uh, navigate around here. You can check out what we've got. Uh, I, I believe the game is randomly generated each time you boot up, so... Every time is a unique experience, or it should be. I don't know if that's true for this version. Let's see. Uh, the other thing to know is the uh, the game is done by a time limit. You can see there how much time we've used. There's no lives. It's just every time you die, it takes up 10 minutes, and every time you use a hint, it takes up two minutes, I believe. You can use hints for the puzzles over here, where you can uh, check uh, two different questions you can ask, but I'm not going to use that yet. We'll, we'll see if we can get to that with some puzzle pieces. But first, we've got to find some puzzle pieces. Uh, you also have these uh, security terminals which you can use to reset the elevators or uh, disable the robots. I'm just going to log off for now, but you can also check and see here the uh, lift and it's is how many times you can reset the elevators and the snoozes is how many times you can uh, shut down the robots. You can see the PSW down there. That, that will fill in if we ever get a password piece, but I don't think, uh, I don't know if that's going to happen today. Let's get into it with a possible mission here. So to, to search... For puzzle pieces, you just gotta go up to an object and press up. You can search it. You can see the difficulty is gonna come in uh, where I'm trying to search objects uh, where there's those robots that are uh, very aggressively trying to kill you. That's not very nice, but uh, you gotta do it anyway. And you pretty much just have jump. That's uh, that's your that's your action that you can do. And these guys will notice you and run towards you. That's not the greatest. Oh, man. This also has the uh, the classic design of a heavily elevator-based game where it's very precise about uh, where you have to be positioned on the elevators to go up and down. Everybody, so, yeah, I would, I would love to be able to go down there, but I have to go over a little bit. So you kind of just got to kite this guy back and forth. Maybe there's a more elegant way to do this. The, the sound effects in this game are also very uh, clicky on the Apple II. I don't know if that's true of the original uh, C64 version or not. Let's see if we can make it out of here. Okay. Cut it close, cut it close. Thankfully, I do, I do believe that uh, some of the searching will stay. I don't know if there's like a... Oh no, we got, we got vaporized. I don't think it will uh, stay across different vaporizations. So let's, let's see, maybe we'll check out another room. It might not be that the rooms are randomized, it might just be that the puzzles are randomized. I'm not sure. Let's search this stuff, this seems easy. Low risk, high reward. Oh, we got a puzzle piece. I found the uh, puzzle solving aspect of this game quite confusing. I, I think we just got a lift password there, or a lift uh, we can use. Okay, we can go down there. We can see, let's see. So we could uh, reset the lifting platforms, I believe, now. 
I don't know if that guy's going to try to blast us or not. So you can see I can do it multiple passes there, just cheesing it a little bit. It will use the same strategy over here. Just with this other uh, lift, as it were. There's bound to be a puzzle piece, right? Oh no. Oh, I can just hang out on the lift if he's not going to blast me. Oh wait, I gotta go up so it'll uh, go away though. All sorts of uh, impossible mission strategies. Nothing here. Okay, great. Let's go back down and out. And we can uh, play around with the puzzle pieces that we've got now. We got, we got maybe two puzzle pieces, is that right? Let's see. Okay, so let's pull up our PDA. Uh, so you can see the puzzle pieces that we've got over here. So that's the end of memory. Uh, so you can you can cycle through your multiple puzzle pieces if you've got more than two by pressing up and down there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use a hint here. Uh, so you can do correct orientations of leftmost pieces. That means that these two pieces that you have in this little window here should be uh, rotated to the correct orientation. And then have we enough pieces to solve the upper left puzzle? Is uh, if if this thing I believe in the upper left window here. Uh, if you would have the other three pieces that you need uh, to match up with it, then uh, you can ask it uh, if you have enough pieces to solve the upper left puzzle. But we don't even have four pieces yet, so we definitely don't have enough pieces. So we've corrected the orientation. So the idea is that you've got to put these out here and then like lay them on top of each other. But there are, you can see there's two colors. So these two pieces might not go together because they can't overlap. These are in the correct orientation, so we know that these don't go together. Um, but yeah, there might be green pieces later on, but the, you do have to change the colors to the, change the pieces to the correct color, which you can do with these. So I can do that. I can change it back to orange. Uh, you can, I believe, trash it all with that, or trash your last. Uh, you can undo with this exclamation. Um, I'm trying to remember what the other, you can, Pause here, I believe. Yeah, if you wanna if you wanna pause the game, that's what you gotta do. And then you can rotate. Uh, you can horizontal flip. Uh, you can vertical flip and then horizontal flip. So th those are the controls for your puzzle pieces. I don't know if we're gonna get enough to uh, to show off a solved puzzle here. You do also once you even uh, have all the puzzle pieces uh, solved into the correct pattern, you have to have them in the right rotation to get the password. All right, we're all the way down the shaft there. Okay. Um, yeah, and it looks like a punch card, and the manual says that, and I was like, I don't know what that means. But uh, I, I looked up and saw what, what a completed one looks like, and yeah, that's right. So I, I think I think the problem that I had was I was conceiving of this puzzle as, if I can show this here, as that you were trying to, like, put one, two, three, four pieces in the correct positions, but what you're really trying to do is trying to uh, get a piece out here, and then overlay the pieces to put together what will look like a punch card once it's done. So we know those don't go together because it says images can't overlap, so we're good. I don't know why I'm uh, doing that when I can just do this. Okay, let's get out of here. All right, let's get back to it. Try to get some more puzzle pieces maybe here in Impossible Mission. I keep wanting to call this elevator action. It is not elevator action, it's Impossible Mission. Search this fridge. Nothing there. Okay. I'm glad these guys can't blast. Or don't seem to be able to blast. Let's see. I might link the... Uh, I couldn't find the Apple II manual for this, but I did find the C64 manual. I might link the that C64 manual. Uh, somewhere in the description because yeah, that helps a lot with being <laughs> able to figure out what's going on in this game Let's try to yet yeah, Execute a perfect jump and search this desk I think uh, Moby game says the time limit is six hours. I'm not sure why the time limit on this version reads is starting as at 12 hours Don't know exactly what's going on there, but uh, yeah I don't know if we're going to run up against it. 
I don't know why I tried to... Oh, uh, let's go out to this uh, exit. I was, I was going to say, I don't need to actually get to that computer. But it is kind of handy to get to the exit. Let's check out this room from the other side. So you can see there on the mini-map, some rooms are going to have just one way in and out, and some will have multiple. Can we jump across this? Let's see. Nope, not there. Not that, not that way. We got to go a little bit further. There we go. Okay. It's a perfectly harmless room. What could possibly go wrong? Are we going to have enough time? Nothing there. Just got to risk it sometimes. Nothing there. Okay. Can't go any further up there. Oh, oh. Okay. That's not, uh... Not the best, I don't know. Maybe we will have to reset, use a reset on uh, this room here. Let me get back to it. In the meantime, let's check out some other rooms. Can we go all the way up? Okay, yes. But that guy can blast too, so it's not... It's not great. For us. Oh, it's got a short search, though. That's great for us. Um, what do you think we could... Uh... This other guy is just blasting left and right. Oh, vaporized. Does this guy blast? I don't know. Let's see. Yep, gotta jump. Gotta do some jumping. Let's see, uh, let's check out our puzzle pieces again. Now we got another one. End of memory, so maybe we gotta go up. Okay, so we can see we got a green piece there. Right, those those ones we've already flipped to the correct orientation, I believe. Let's, uh... Do these. I'm not too concerned about the hints, uh, time penalty here. Let's check. Need more pieces for the upper, upper left, okay. So we've got four pieces total, so if we had all the pieces for a puzzle, we could solve maybe one. These pieces look identical, so I'm not sure what's going- oh, okay. Is that- okay. I think I was thinking of the scrolling in the wrong way, because that's the same piece there. If you look at that orange piece, when I scroll- When I scroll- Okay. When I scroll, yeah, you can see that same orange piece. So I, I was like, do I have duplicate pieces? No. Okay, does that look like it could fit with the... Uh... Just seeing if I could recolor that green piece and fit with something, but it doesn't look particularly like it. I don't know. I don't have a good feel for uh, the, the puzzle pieces. Let's check out our rooms. See what, see what other rooms we can get into. Sure. Nothing there. Oh, man. You can see that if you just do some jumping, you can maybe, uh... give these guys a slip. But it takes a little bit. Nothing there, okay. Search these water coolers? All right, let's get out of this guy's way. I don't know if we have any robot snoozes. And what's the best strategy here? This, other than snoozing that robot, what what is the strategy for getting out of here other than dying? Oh, okay. Here we go. Does that only go all the way to the top? Great. It's one of these other ones and uh stop. Let's see. Nope. Well I did ask if there was a way out of this room without dying. It seems so, but uh I don't know if we're gonna be able to grab that. Because you can't you can't jump off uh, elevator mid mid elevate, so yeah. Let's check out what's over here. It's 
some big old mainframes that we can search. All right, we've got, a, got another piece. Um, there's a lot of, uh, let's say, precision jumping in this game. Oh, that guy can blast, too. That's not good for us. I don't know why he turned around and just ignored us, but I'll take it. Oh, no. Okay. I thought it was going to get us. All right, back over here. Did we go all the way to the bottom of this one? Let's see. Yeah, we did. Okay. Probably a good idea to keep track of which rooms you've uh, gotten all the stuff in, but uh, haven't been even particular track. Let's see, I hope that stops there. Okay, got a piece. Let's go back over here. Oh no. Oh well. I was thinking about that last uh, piece up there, but uh, I'd have to use a reset. Let's check out uh, and see if there's anything down here. Oh, there is. Okay, nice. Oh, get into the good stuff. All right, this is a good one. Let's see. Uh, let's see what's over here. And then maybe we'll try to do some uh, more puzzle solving. I don't know. Let's see if we can. Oh no. Oh no. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> That's uh, a little bit closer. Oh, oh, almost fell down before searching this uh, printer here. The premise is that the mad scientist is just forgetful and leaves the clues around his lair. Which, uh, I don't know about that. You do also have, like, a little bit of a... It feels like a, like a... You know, Looney Tunes walking in air moment uh, as you... Walk off the edge of a ledge. I'm not sure if we're going to... Yep, okay. Uh, oh yeah, that's a regular computer. Um, and it feels like you could jump uh, during that time as well, which is very odd. I'm not sure if that's in the uh, C64 version of this game, but uh, I don't know if I can show it off here or not. Oh, we got another uh, piece. Um, how do we get back up there? Do we just uh, jump over this guy? Go all the way up? Okay, yeah. Oh, wait. Now we get that. Maybe. Famous last words. Okay, nothing there. And so we cleared that room. Uh, let's check out, you know, let's check out our uh, puzzle pieces and see what's going on. All right, let's pop it up. Okay. The memory, okay. Sure. So I should be able to go down twice and then once more orient. I think all everything should be oriented correctly. Uh, let's see. Need more pieces. Okay. So we've asked about, let's see, let's see if we have enough pieces for that. Need more pieces, okay. You wanna try them all? Let's see. I keep thinking the scroll works differently than it does. It's very strange to me, hang on. Is it scrolling two at a time and then once you get Okay, maybe so. Maybe so. Hmm. Like, those don't look like... Okay. Do you... Uh, I'm very confused by this now. <laughs> you can't tell. 
It feels like that green piece is showing up multiple times, or... I don't know if it's possible to get, like, duplicated pieces. That's, uh, that seems strange, though. Let's put some pieces out here and try to fit them together. Like, those, those are the same. Like, those look like they might go together, but they need to be the same color. Um, th th that's the same as that. Okay, so those, those somehow go together. That's interesting. I wouldn't have uh, expected that, to be honest. Um, this is the puzzle-solving action you come here for. Let's try, let's try putting this out here. And let's change this color and try to overlay them. Nope, they overlap, so... Not gonna let me do that. Let's try orange in it. I think that's gonna overlap, right? Yeah. All right, so we got you know one we got one overlay, so we need to find something that fills that in, presumably. Let's get out of here. Maybe check out a little bit more. Oh wait. I'm kind of curious to see, there are uh, supposedly like code rooms. There's two code rooms where you can earn additional passwords uh, that have like a little mini game where you're trying to do some kind of music puzzle. I guess these are all the objects down here. Okay, let's search the fireplace. Nothing there. I feel like I haven't seen any robot snoozes. I don't. I didn't look at my inventory the last time. Let's see if that number's gone up. I can reset the list. I'm sure. I've seen a couple of those. Let's reset the lifting platforms. Password accepted. Let's temporarily disable robots in this room. Password required. Yeah, I don't have any of those. So sometimes when you search robots, you're supposed to get. Uh, or not search robots, but search items. You're supposed to get a robot uh, snooze, but I haven't gotten any yet. I guess the fastest way out is to die. Well, let's check out my inventory and my time. Let's see, we're, we're at 157. Got one lift reset left. Still no password is solved. Oh, so maybe we would need to reset. Let's see. That... Nope. <laughs> I'm not sure what you would do. Oh, okay. I didn't see that other, other uh, elevator down here. Okay. That would help. I just wasted that uh, the elevator reset, but, uh, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. See, maybe I'll jump over this guy. That that's a tricky jump up there. Is is he get up there? Maybe we need to try uh, our Looney Tunes jump. It worked. Okay. Nothing there. <laughs> After all that, nothing there. Okay. Well. Uh, that's not what you want. Let's see. Let's check out this other other side here. Maybe this will be the last uh, elevator shot we check out. In Impossible Mission 2, they kind of like divide it up so that uh, you're not just able to go all the way across the whole map. At the beginning, you're using the passwords to unlock uh, these uh, different sections of the map. So you might get to a, like a barrier between like different elevator shafts and you use the password. Uh, which makes it a little bit more contained. It makes it a little bit more manageable in a way. It still uh, has its own uh, various inscrutable parts, but uh, I think both of these games have that problem. I 
if you're coming to them from a modern uh, perspective. Searching uh, the evil doctor's bathroom here, it seems like. Nothing there, okay. Any passwords in the bathroom? Oh, we got a, got a lift reset. This guy's persistent. Oh no, oh no! I'm just gonna leave that spool. Or uh, toilet paper roll? I mean, it's a bathroom, so who knows. Check out what else we got. Presumably, the rooms get more uh, difficult the further right you go, right? I mean, that would make sense, but... I don't know what uh, Impossible Missions feelings are on the subject. Let's just go as far right as we can. What do you think? Oh, here's a code room. Okay. Maybe we'll check this out and see. So, it says... Uh, you can walk up to the console and push the joystick forward as if you're searching it, and then a sequence of squares will flash on the wall, each with a musical note, and a white glove will appear. Use the glove to touch each square in a sequence so that the notes are sorted in ascending order from low to high. Is it... Is it symbol Simon, or no? Is it... There we go, okay. All right, so we should, let's see, let's check our inventory. It says you can um, do this as many times as you like, but the sequence gets longer each time. So we got a snooze out of that, that's good. And uh, and it in it, it seems like, I don't know. Let's see what we've got now. we got two Annettes and one Snooze, so uh, yeah, let's see. I don't know if there's any more of this puzzle that we can solve now. I've got just a little bit more. I don't think that goes with anything. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to solve a puzzle here today uh, with Impossible Mission. Uh, but now that we found that code room, uh, yeah, I think that might do it here for me with uh, Impossible Mission for Waza Day. And if you like uh, early Apple II games like this, then go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow for our next Waza Day.